And don't give me that look. Don't think you're getting at us by being cute. What, why are you handing me this? What is this, more trash? Better be a written apology. Let me see this. Oh. Oh, look how big you are. Oh, this is very nice. Hello internet, and today we finally have some sort of content. Yes, we got the balance patch, and I think one of the big winners is Lone Crescent Bologna. On top of being absolutely breedable, she now has only 3 turn cooldown on S3, that's insane. And the Swarmin effect went from S3 to S1, which increases damage dealt, that's crazy too. From 15 fighting spirits to 20 now, like all around, she just got buffed for no reason, and she is now even cracked up than before. We will be trying her out against something something candy. The fact that I'm Chinese, I gave up reading six Chinese characters is insane. Uh. And here we have round one. Well, I'll be an eh? anti-crit team, as if it's not everywhere. So Lone Crescent Bologna being one of the rarer characters that can guarantee crit should be insane against this team. And this, these two pairing has been around forever, right? So we'll see how she fares against them. Round two, anti-crit gang. But what if I just strip them, right? As my sister told me, if you hate someone, strip them of their clothing. Right, here we go. They should have speed me, but we should be pushed back. Hopefully Hangai doesn't get pushed back and I get the, uh, the cleanse right away. But we will see. Who are you targeting? And here comes S2. Goes for the low crescent. That's good. So now we're gonna go for the hand. Give it a blue bicep. There we go. I am now immune to anything and impervious to death because this is gonna go down. I should get max stack soon. I get 25 spirit every hit now, which is more than before, but we'll see how things go. I'm just gonna do a S1 here. And here comes the uh, rat. With this sit right here, I believe before you wouldn't have the proc right here with LCB, but now you can, I believe. There, there we go. You got enough fighting spirit to practice this is absolutely nice so bag and now this is only a three turn cooldown skill so do i have to save this as all i don't think there's any reason why i would save this i'm gonna go ahead and use it on the enemy uh ml at least i'm hoping to get a vigor i hope i survive as well i don't have a lot of health left though and the rat might just murder me i'm actually a bit afraid i'm gonna go for a strip I'm i actually want mediator to be the lowest health but i don't think that'll be that'll happen huh but i did debuff the senya though that's pretty funny can i live i don't know you're gonna hit lcb oh no hooray i think below that might die now counter can you crit you'll have somehow oh hell nah Oh, hell no! Nah. Oh, I'm alive. There you go. And thanks to the buffers. So we proc the, uh, uh, what should I call this? I, for whatever this is. You get the point. And now we have a burn. Should we do it, dude? I'm gonna burn it on the Senya. That should be the safer bet. Bring full heal from the secret as well. That is so nice. I got a dual attack and everything. Holy. And now you should be hitting ML Calorie. Great. Wait. Belona, she's so much better now, no? That's insane. She has S3 again, though. Let's see. No, one more turn. But you know what? It should be more than enough to kill you. Boom. Done. Yo! That was not a challenge. Although, albeit from before, she already did something similar. I guess now she just does her job better. But this is a speed aided. As random as your name, I see you gear your units randomly as well, huh? But here comes my push with ML later. Game should be set. There we go. Plant the mobs. Here comes S3. You've seen this tons of time before. And every time I had to commentate a little bit differently. So this time, I'm gonna give up and tell you something about life. It is said that out of three human beings two of them would die against this defense shit i think i'm fine oh aren't i fine yeah i should be fine i should be fine i'm gonna go for a bomb on you nobody can counter oh come on here comes bikini elf can we defeat them and boom oh yeah the fact that the very last video i've done had this exact <laughs> situation of these three exact characters hitting this one exact enemy it shows you how dead the meta is but well, here we go we got him oh no wait oh you can't holy sack <laughs> ha nice Freaking artifact, man. But there we go. That's a beautiful win. That was not even close. You got him so nicely. Before, you might just die with LCB sometimes. But I guess it was the same. It wasn't really too different. But I guess now it's a bit more consistent. It's always nice. Here we have round one again. It's the same exact team. But what I'm going to do is try and stress test this, basically. I didn't counter at all with LCB just now, though. So that was a bit unlucky. But then again, if Shu decides to counter and murder her, I don't know what's going to happen there. We'll just see. We'll just see. Round two. It's clear that this person is doing whatever they can to stop me from playing fast which i'm going to ignore because jokes on you i can't read and here we go last time they push lcb this time we're gonna push back we also need a skip animation option at least for especially ml Elise. i'm just bored of it all right debuff her now oh yeah and i should get oh crap that's a little bit different but it shouldn't matter in the long run though it's gonna go down it's gonna debuff me but i just cleanse it right now anyway no counter yet from my Velona. 
It's just crazy right now. Now, if it was an Orlandi, especially if it was right side, oh, I would have died by now. 25k health shoe, no counter still. Bologna, are you okay? And you're like exactly at half health? Do you even get the heal? You do. Okay, I, I have a calculator with me. I'm freaking Asian, man. I'm 128 health points away from being half health. You are kidding me. Right, I gotta use this three. And if this turn, Shu decides to counter, I think it's over for me. Let's find out, man. Damage-wise, I think it's... Oh, come on. Not like this. If you proc it. Yeah. You cannot beat that when they're that lucky. But I'm on counter set myself. So if I would, if I was ML Landy, right? Broken character. But if I was ML Landy, I would have still died. Because I just wouldn't have countered. Right, round two now. The idea here was to get watch a Sharita turn one shot to Karina get a push up and then we'll have our good old Malika and let's shoot the woman it is always though that is worrying but what I'm gonna do here I suppose it's this we'll, we'll target you and then we'll go for the S3 I get myself a, an attack buff and this should do a bunch of damage I don't know if, it's, if it kills though and bang oh oh Praise be, I did kill. Now a single A timer. What you gonna do, huh? Wave your female like hair at me and have me smell it, cause I would be down. Right, we got him. There we go. That is a draw, but honestly, well, what can I do? Huh? If the shoe's gonna count every time, I land no counters. It's just, it's whatever, man. Round one. After building Lua, I've obtained the impervious ability to destroy everything in my path, which is what I'm gonna apply to this guy. Round two. Let's switch it up a bit. There's a uh, Karina. There's also an ML Addy. This is also pretty annoying to deal with, because on one hand, you could go LCB, but on the other hand, Karina could one-shot her. So how does she fare now after a buff? Which she should do more damage, and ho I'm hoping it's enough to just get Rid of Emilani quick, but we'll see how things goes. And here he goes. I did outspeed. Oh yeah, baby. Get the sleep in. And if they are in it, I swear to God, they can now definitely are. I honestly, even if I slept you, you could still are now. Which I swear to God, it's what 15% chance at most. Do, do not do that. Watch him just do that and pull out it and pull it out twice. Watch, it's gonna happen. <gasps> oh boy, I'm too good at the game. Right, everyone's reset. So wait, I don't reset her passive though. Uh, I don't know about that. Wait, that is so bad. Oh no. Here's what I do. I gotta kill the rod. I gotta get an extra turn, and I have to hit the Aiden then. No, yeah, I gotta kill the Aiden, or else Aiden's gonna hit my Spectre turn because everyone's stealth. Crap. All right, I have no choice. I gotta have to hit you. And I don't think I'm killing you. You're cutting me too. Oh, come on. Wait, now I'm out of stealth though. So you're hitting. Okay, fair enough. I say that, but it's like, I'm dead. I have to hit the Aiden. I can't, I can't do anything else. Like, I gotta hit you. Come on, hit her one time. Just like the double C. Oh, come on. The double C is just filled with, can I hit this Aiden? No? Oh, looks like I die. Right, can I outspeed though? Hell nah. This will kill Lua, right? I don't have stealth on. Good. Kill Lua. And I I have a shot here. Double crit on steady. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. You can do this if you try. Wait, you're protected, you piece of shit. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> but I can crit, no? Oh my. I mean, for me, my 70% would look more like a 0.7%. This meta is so bad. It's not even funny. But you know what's worse? Me playing the game anyway. That's the Epic 7 community as well. Everyone hates Epic 7. All Everyone that plays Epic 7 hates Epic 7. But when it comes down to it, we still love it because <laughs> we don't quit now, do we? We love this game. We're just being mega sundaries. Right, ML Laddy versus my counter Bologna that countered for a total of zero times today. We're doing pretty well. Right, now, with enough fighting spirit, we did counter. That's not enough damage. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna go in and get my barrier now. I feel like they are gonna get all the counters in the world while I just suck. Deep up again? Oh my god, it's like a no ER Karina. What am I looking at? I have to kind of kill Karina first, but no, that's stupid. Let's just try and kill you first. That's also stupid. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. The hell can I do against that? So, like, Laddy just kills me now? That's it? Game over? <laughs> this will go, but I'm not lifesteal, so I'm, I'm really not out of the woods. Here comes this one. You kill me? No, but Salvo, Salvo does. That's crazy. I mean, again, ML Laddy. What do you know? It's a dual attack from a strip that got rid of my immunity to then land it on Karina to then land it on Deathbrain. What can I do? It's just terrible. This entire meta, no matter what you do, you could just die out of nowhere. Right, we're trying to arena fight because that good one was unsettling. We set a score here. It's a similar pair with ML Laddy and Karina as well. So we are going to see what happens here. I'm hoping I outspeed, which I do. Oh yeah, baby. Now, it is 
this is Shrek got the lilies on their end, so it is actually an ER one. Come on. Well, nothing much we can do. I'm gonna try and push it back anyways. If I do, it'd be great, but oh, there's just a limit of how much cringe I can take. Here comes Ryan Wish. Now, the only thing that I know will happen for sure is good RNG on the right side. So this is gonna get, get countered and salvoed. No? Damn, you're so unlucky. If you don't get sarcasm, yes, that was sarcasm. They don't deserve luck anymore. But I guess we have to murder the Lily is dead. Or not, they get Vigamo. Can I even kill this? Surely I can. Come on. And eight. Good. This guy's gonna buff, but not like you can do much. Yep, you're gonna target the uh, immortal elf. But joke's on you. She's used to torture. Right, we're good. You should, in all reality, die right here. Attack Vigor buff with an S3. Come on now. Say less. Get rolled. And there we go. Done. And it's on three turn cooldown, so we can definitely get it back very quickly. But I don't think we're, we're gonna even see that happen ever again. And yeah, with the soul burn, it's also just nice. Let me get a dual attack with ha, LCV real quick. Bang. Damage, bro. Get enough break. Ooh. Ah, come on. If you pull it back from here, we are going to do math. And I swear, I'm not gonna stop until I see rainbows. Right, let's have a damage test here. Sobered as one, baby. I'm expecting at least 10k. And on a Karina, that's good, bro. Bang. Yep. Right on the dots, 10k. And there you have it. That's our favorite waifu, Lone Chris Abelona. She is honestly drawn solely to make me drool. That's what the artist had in mind when they drew Lone Chris Abelona. Look at his face. That's the face that will ruin everything. Everyone you love, everything you like, everything ends with this face. But yeah, the buff was okay for sure, right? Like she didn't even need it before. She was functioning before, but now that she had a buff, she's definitely just better outright. I think the winner is definitely the, you know, the decrease in cooldown. It now makes her so much better like a long fight and the soul burn as one is really useful as well especially my low health got myself secret side got a soul burn on boom full health right away it's a good buff i think she's really worth building if you have her and yeah especially in this meta with tons of anti-crit out there it's it's worth a shot but overall i don't know why they chose a buffer over say ml haste say spez i don't know what they're entire idea is. I like, sure, give us a headhunt, but there's still are really useless characters in there that needs a buff more than ML and more than ML Bologna does. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, I'm gonna cover more from the balance patch and I don't know, maybe try some wacky stuff as well. But either way, that is all for now. Take care.